Hey everyone, welcome to the garage. Today, we're taking a break from the F100 to once again make some tools. Today, we're not just making any tools though, we're making something that I learned from legendary hot rod builder Gene Winfield. I learned about this at a product demo he was doing in 2014 at the SEMA convention. What it is, is a pipe anvil. So, that's what we're going to make today, is my version of Gene Winfield's pipe anvil. Now, what his plan consists of is a large diameter middle pipe and then two smaller pipes on each side. He made his much longer than what we're going to make here today because we're confined by space here where he's got a much bigger shop. So his, I think, was like 53 inches long. Ours, we're going to cut down in two feet sections. Basic idea of what we have going on here is one larger pipe and then it'll have a smaller pipe on each side that is bolted with a little bit of a gap. What that does is it allows you to put sheet metal down in and bend it over this pipe or the other pipe. Gives you a nice tight radius or a much larger one. And with it being a nice heavy pipe in the middle, you can use it to beat and shape different things on it as well. So first thing we need is a stand. I went and was fortunate enough to find a stand that I didn't have to do much modification to do but what it is is it was a stand from in the bowling alley that held the little touch pads to keep score they were remodeling the bowling alley and throwing those away I ended up getting my hands on one so what I've done is taken it turned it upside down and poured it into a bucket of concrete that way I've got a nice heavy base that we can mount this on <laughs> Now that I've got that concreted into the bucket, as you can see, all it is is just a pipe with just a nice flat base. It was already welded up and everything, so I mean that just saved me a step. All I had to do is throw it in some concrete. But that gives me a nice heavy base. And the reason that I went in this direction was because when we're done with this, it's not always just a pipe anvil. I can take that off. And put whatever else I want on there and I've got kind of a modular system here which is good for a nice small space but either way moving on first thing I want to do is get the main pipe mounted now this pipe was a piece of drill pipe that I ended up finding the guys next door were doing new construction and they were driving these as pilings so after work, I walked over, asked them for a scrap piece. That's where I ended up getting this. But this is a real heavy walled pipe. That that'll be great as our base. What I want to do is mount it on one side here in just the two bolts. I'll have that off centered. The pipe's thick enough it's not going to bend or move anything when it's bolted down. And then if I want to use this side to bend on, I can do that. Or I can flip it around. To get to the other side if I need real tight radiuses where the base will be in the way so first things first we're gonna go, go ahead and drill two holes here get this piece mounted up Okay, we've got the holes drilled, so now we can bolt this on. Now that I've got the main pipe hooked to our base, now we can put the side pipes on there. For those, I've got two pipes that actually came from a satellite dish. This is the arm for the one. I'm just going to take off the end piece and use that as a smaller diameter. That's roughly about an inch. And then for the other pipe that I have, this was the pole for the satellite dish. That is about two and a half inch pipe, which those will both be good small radiuses. 
that we can work off on the side. So all we're going to do is drill holes on each end so that we can bolt these to the main pipe. So we'll drill holes through here, mark it on the main one, bolt it all together. Got the big piece of pipe back over here. I want to go and mark where these holes are on this larger piece of pipe. Here's where I have the holes drilled. I want to keep this pipe just on the underside of the halfway point or quarter way up. So that gives us a good pry point if we want to roll something around the top here. So I'm just going to lay out the spots. We're in the home stretch of this build. Got it drilled on both sides for both pieces of pipe there. Got the pipe, so we just want to go ahead and bolt these together. Now when we bolt these together, we want to put a washer in between the two pipes there. The reason being is when these two pipes are together, that'll leave just a little bit of a gap. Because ultimately, we want to be able to slide our sheet metal in and be able to bend it. That'll give it just enough gap for the sheet metal to slide in, but still hold it tight enough to bend it. So. Here it is, our complete pipe anvil. Still could use, you know, a clean up job, but this is basically what we're looking at. Give you a kind of overview of some of the things we can do with this. You can use the top still as a regular anvil. But mainly what we're looking at is to make different types of curves where when you push that piece down in there you can go and just roll that right around there and then that makes you a nice radius with really limited work or if you need something tighter There you go. Three different easy radiuses. Pretty simple build there for it. Well, that's going to do it for the Gene Winfield pipe anvil. I'd like to thank Gene Winfield for passing that knowledge along to everybody. If you have something similar, if you've got some old school techniques that are like this, I'd love to know about them. Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.